Well, if you live in Bristol and you've got a wood burner, you might want to listen up. It seems that there's been new powers given to the council that if you emit a certain amount of particulates an hour out of your chimney, then they've got the ability to fine you between 175 and 300 pounds. Basically, they don't want you using a wood burner because uh, it's apparently, it emits small particles that can cause uh, asthma, lung cancer, and strokes, apparently, allegedly. Um, I don't know, but I strongly suggest that given the fact that um, uh, the system itself at the moment doesn't seem to be caring too much for its people, I'm surprised that all of a sudden they care about that. What I'm more inclined to believe, because I'm a conspiracy theorist, that means I'm probably more ahead of the average pillock, is this, that it's been the European Union's bid to release you of your property. Remember, you'll have nothing and you'll be happy. So. Part one is to obviously increase your fuel bills and keep increasing them. So gas, electric, or the rest of it, they can hoik it right up. But if you're one of these people that actually have access to logs and you own a wood burner, and even better that you've got in that wood burner a back boiler, well, that's part of the problem solved this winter, isn't it? You light the wood burner, you keep the wood burner going, it heats the radiators through the back boiler, and you can keep the prices down. They don't want you being able to do that. They want to make money out of you. It's plain and simple. So they have to have you stuck to either electric or gas, or they want you to basically put some new system in that will, I don't know, uh, cost you thousands and you'll have to get a loan. Take for instance, say for, uh, what do they call that? Uh, air, an air source heat pump. Uh, the Reverend Mother has one and uh, she saved loads of money on it and she literally has it on all the time and it can heat a uh, the radiators and heat the boiler upstairs as well so you get hot water anyway you have to take if you haven't got much money you have to take a loan out for that as a government grant or something whatever but what it is is somebody's making money out of you there now if you've already got one of these wood burdens as I say installed and some of them are very efficient um, because they've got reburning facilities. It's amazing when you watch it, you open up this flap, turn down that one, and you can see the gases being reburned. It's very efficient. And you'll know a wood burner is working well because to start with, as soon as you light the thing, you'll get some uh, smoke coming out of the chimney. But once it's underway and it's at the right temperature, have a look at the chimney. You will not see hardly anything, if anything at all, coming out of it. But it is all about, as I say, control. First, what they're gonna do as I say, hoik up your, your prices for, there'll be interest prices go up, so you'll struggle to pay back your, your mortgages. Also, um, the fuel prices will go up and the wages will either stagnate, stay where they are, or possibly even come down. And then you've got the food prices and then you've got the trip to work out. All of this money that you're going to be outlaying, that they're making sure that they're hoiking up because they want to relieve you of your savings. And then once you've eaten through your savings and you're stuffed, they will want your house. Now, there's many ways they're going to do this, but one of the ways that the European Union have already outlined in a plan is to say how efficient your house is. And if it's not efficient enough, then you'll have to bring it up to efficiency or you'll be fined. But one of the things is also the wood burners. As I say, people who have access to wood will be able to warm their house without the middleman the money-grabbing, robbing bastard, tax man, and, right, tax is a theft, but we all admit that there are things around us that need to be paid for, so we get taxed to pay for that, but some of the taxes that we get are ridiculous, we know this, all right, stealth tax and all the rest of it. I don't understand why it is with inheritance tax, if somebody's already paid tax on all of that money, why they have to tax it again and again. It's theft. Now, um, can you imagine you have had a house within the family for years. It's been fine, but all of a sudden, this ruling comes about that the EU have passed over there, and we, even though we've left the EU, allegedly, uh, have adopted because, well, we want to keep on board with Klaus Schwab and the rest of his psychos. And it says that you have to bring your house up to speed, insulation, um, and all the other things. And you have to make sure that you're only using this much amount of fuel because if you're not, you will be fined. And can you imagine, say for instance, if all of that work the, to do this, to bring some of these houses up to speed would cost a hundred grand. And what if you've got 
some really, really, really old house that can't be brought up to that standard. What then? Well, they're gonna knock it down? I know they hate our culture and they hate us, but there is no limit to what they're gonna do. But eventually what they'll do is, after you've run out, as I say, of your skint, you're, you, you're struggling to put food on the table, you don't have any savings because you've eaten through that, you couldn't get a loan if you wanted to, okay, because your credit rating's now probably smashed through the floor. Um, what they'll do is they'll offer you one of these projects, I would imagine, where they give you the chance of signing over the house to the council or the government, where they will make all the arrangements to have this brought up to speed, although this may or may not happen in a hurry, and you will be able to live in the house. What other arrangements they'll have is how much you'll have to pay to live in your own house, I don't know. It may be a case that that generation, say for instance, if it's your grandparents, may well be able to live in a house, but the moment that they die, the house then goes over back to the state, as I think it's something similar to that in China. But this is what they want to do. And eventually, all of what used to happen about money being passed down through the generations, that will go, wealth will go. And the 1% will be the 1%, and everybody else will be um, broke. That's pretty much what they're aiming for. But yeah, look into it, and if you live in Bristol, you know, be aware. Because don't forget, you're going to have neighbours who are probably, especially if you're in Bristol, on the green agenda. And these people, just like the little fuckers that came out during COVID and grassed everybody up for going out, or for not wearing a mask, or whatever, these little fuckers will come out and grass you up for lighting up your fire. So be aware. Anyway, have a look into it. I'll speak to you in a bit.